Um, first question is, what are the thematic differences in Margaret Fleming and the Octoroon? Um, in the Octoroon, it's obvious that it was written before the Civil War. Um, it's about slavery and the setting is on the plantation in Louisiana. Margaret Fleming is set in Massachusetts um, after slavery was abolished. Um, it's focused more on a domestic relationship. It also shows um, how women can be both, well, can be like represented, rep represented and somewhat of a authoritative figure um, while also being underrepresented at the same time. Um, that's, um, and then you have Margaret who's able to have the say-so and whether or not her and Philip's relationship will continue and then there's also Zoe who um, she kind of has she has no say in who she can be with because she's like one-eighth um, black and um, I also thought it was interesting of George who like he kind of I guess in a way sacrifices himself um, or sells himself rather to um, Dora to marry her to have the money to save the their plantation um, so the slaves don't have to be sold and that was kind of cool um how they reflect time periods in which they're written um, the actor rune reflects the time of slavery um, it also shows how Europeans didn't see slavery as the Americans did. Um, George doesn't see Zoe as a slave and it doesn't bother him that she's mixed. Um, but Mr. McCloskey, who also is, uh, is in love with Zoe, finds out that she is still a slave and, you know, steals the mail and finds out that she isn't um, a free, she isn't free. Um, so he kind of becomes the villain and trying to gain possession of her because she's, you know, a piece of property to him. Um, Margaret Fleming was the first play written to depict a domestic realism. Um, it gives women a little bit more voice, I think, because because Margaret has, like, the say-so in the, her relationship. Um, when Philip said, when Philip asked her, you know, what do you want me to do? Shall I go away? I want to do what you think is best. He's like giving in to her and giving her the opportunity to make the decision on whether or not their relationship is going to continue. And uh, also, Margaret um, takes in Philip and Lena's child as her own, whereas Miss Peyton doesn't fully accept Zoe because she's mixed. Um, and the unrepresented populations um, are depicted. In the Octoroon, the slaves are depicted as slaves, but there is a sense of family, I think, on that particular um, plantation. It seems like even though they're slaves, you know, like everybody still kind of cares about one another. Um, <laughs> and then the little Indian boy. Um, has his own little mashup of languages, so he isn't able to verbally communicate with many people. I think Pete and or Paul and um, maybe one or two other people can actually understand him. Um, and his his actions are a little different. Um, he likes to drink, um, kind of run wild and crazy, which makes him an easy target to blame Paul's death on because, I mean, he can't, you know, he can't defend himself. Um, or in, in Margaret Fleming, um, I guess, like I said, I kind of feel like women are represented just as much as they are underrepresented um, with Lena, basically because she's, like, disposable. Um, she's only there for, like, for Philip. Like, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't care, he doesn't care about her. She's just there. Um, and then Margaret having glaucoma, um, I think might represent like, I guess sometimes how like love is blind. She's blind to Philip having an affair with Lena or even having a child with him until after she passes away and then um, Margaret reads her letter and finds out. 